Alex, I appreciate the introduction. Welcome everybody to the February luncheon. This month, the APCPA gets to celebrate our 20th anniversary as a firm. As a matter of fact, that anniversary falls right on Valentine's Day. Yeah, 20 years ago, I went to my stunning wife, Melissa, and said, honey, how about instead of going out on Valentine's, let's move office furniture into the old Tribune building and we take out Chinese food. To her credit, she smiled that gorgeous smile and started planning the move. We haven't looked back since. From the very beginning, we designed the APCPA to be 100% focused on client satisfaction. I never wanted to be the biggest, <coughs> we're no longer small, but I always wanted to be among the best and to focus all of our efforts on helping our clients succeed. That goes way beyond recording numbers. It's all about using our experience and expertise to go beyond the numbers. Like when I got a call at 5 a.m. on January 1st, a few years ago, and one of our clients had a fire that consumed their building on New Year's Eve. It was brutally cold out, and the water from the fire hoses made the parking lot into a skating room. We dug the smoldering server and laptops out of the rubble, and working in partnership with the IT department at MHP, we had the files restored and we rebuilt their accounting system, getting the client up and running again within a few days. Or four years ago, when a former tax client just thought something didn't feel right with his accounting system. We took a look and within an hour found evidence of fraud on behalf of their bookkeeper. Working with the client's attorney, we were able to prove roughly $4 million of losses over a 13-year period. Our testimony in court led to what was at the time one of the largest civil fraud judgments in Wyoming history. Or in 2007, we helped achieve an S-Corp election retroactively back to 1996, 10 years prior. This saved the client nearly half a million dollars in taxes and penalties. Or when a client asked us to help them split with their partners in a business. In a very adversarial atmosphere, we designed a methodology for the split that saved the clients and their partners almost $400,000. Everybody went home happy after that. As a result of our commitment to our clients and our community, we have grown from three clients in 1996 to a firm that has three offices and more than 2,000 clients. As in the beginning, Melissa remains the operations director for the firms, and we have Jonathan Jackson as the partner in Cheyenne, as well as a great staff, all of whom continue to push me to be my best. That, combined with great clients and an awesome competitors, have made the last 20 years an incredible ride. And I'll leave you with this. I'm always asked what the best advice I could give to someone starting a business. That advice came from my father-in-law, Herb Warner, when I started my firm. Herb was an amazing businessman, and he always made his points by telling a story. Herb told me about this old boy from Texas that used to drill wells. There must have been a lot of old boys from Texas, by the way, because every story Herb told began the same way. It was this old boy from Texas. Anyway, when they were planning a well, the legal department of Herb's company would create the contract, and it was a beautiful contract, full of terms of art, all the I's were dotted and the T's were crossed, and it usually weighed in at about 150 pages. The legal department was very proud of that contract. And then the old boy showed up for the signing and wrote one line at the bottom of the contract and above his signature. What it said was, regardless of the above, I will drill a well. It will be done on time and it will cost such and such an amount. This drove the lawyers nuts. But Herb told them it was okay because the old boy always drilled the well. It was always done on time and it always cost what he said it was going to cost. So Herb told me, if you're going to go into business, make it about your word. Make it about trust. Make it about respect. And doing what is right for you, your clients, and the public that you serve. Make it about treating each client as if they were your only client, and make it about being your best. In taking Herb's advice, 
I've been able to develop relationships that matter. For the story of our firm is not how much money that we've made or how many engagements we've performed. The story is written in the lives of the clients, the employees, and the community that we call family. We celebrate their victories and we mourn their losses. And it has been an honor to be part of their lives and serve them all over the last 20 years. It is what make this, makes this profession the only profession for me. And I have to finish by thanking the Cheyenne Chamber, the entire Cheyenne community, and the state of Wyoming for making my dream of owning a firm possible. So enjoy the food and enjoy the wonderful presentation from our state treasurer. And remember, when you need an accountant, choose a CPA. And when you need a CPA, choose DAPCPA. Thank you. <laughs>